things are what our people don't want to face and deal with. Because if they understood their true history, they'll understand why we're in these conditions. Do you think we're in good conditions right now? No, we're still in bondage. to be honest. This truth must be pushed throughout the state of South Carolina by all means necessary. Our people are in desperate need of God's laws out here. We're the men to stand boldly to get the job done against all opposition that standeth in our way. And opposition will come. In fact, it's already here. Every day we put our lives on the line to save our people. Exactly. And that's even in the midst of all the opposition that come our way. But this is our mission. It doesn't matter how we feel or what we think. We all have our own issues. But who's going to rise up when the Most High calls? It's time to gather the saints from Columbia to Spartanburg, Charleston to Myrtle Beach. We hit the streets for the lost sheep. So men of war, gather yourselves together. Let's get ready for battle. Strap your boots, no excuse, let's push this truth. Whether it's two by two or the whole crew, get ready, we coming through. We are not a hate group. We are not affiliated with any other Israelite group. Israel, united in Christ, is a non violent Bible-based movement. IUIC. Hey brother, let me ask y'all a question. Y'all older men, right? Let me ask you, you from Charleston. Let me ask you, is this part of your history in Charleston? Come and look at these signs we got up right quick. Come on up here. Hey, ain't no use to not asking questions if you're gonna walk up this way. Is this not part of the history that happened here in South Carolina? Right here in Charleston. Did not say we come through Charleston? Did not these things happen to us right here? Right. But what I'm asking you, you said you don't believe in religion. Guess what? I was taught mainstream. Yeah, we, we don't teach mainstream religion either. Yeah. But what we do teach is our people their true history. That's you right. understand? And these things are part of our true history. And these things are what our people don't want to face and deal with. Because if they understood their true history, they'll understand why we're in these conditions. Do you understand that? Do you think we're in good conditions right now? No. No, we're still in bondage, to be honest. We're still in bondage. Like but as you see, people don't give up the fight to be free. Right. They don't accept the bondage they're in. And that's the problem. Give me Baruch 3 and 12. That's the problem. And we have to ask ourselves, why are we so damn comfortable being in slavery and being at the bottom? Yeah. You understand? Know think about this. Y'all older men. You got to ask yourself, where is the revolutionary spirit in the black man and woman? Because if we're still being oppressed, if we can still say we're in slavery, why do we not have a fighting spirit to rise up above the conditions we're in? Read that. The book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 10. How happened it, Israel, that thou art in thy enemy's land? We are in our enemy's land. He's asking the question. Hey, brother, you say you don't believe in... I want you to listen right quick. Stay focused. Stay focused. We'll give you a flyer. Hey, somebody give his brother a flyer. Hey, give him a flyer too. Don't be letting these men walk up and not give him a flyer. Read it again. How happeneth it, Israel, that thou art in, in, in thy enemy's land, that thou art waxing old in a strange country? He said, How you don't sit there in your enemy's land and got old? We old. In this land, we've been here for over 400 years in this in our enemy's land and have yet to ask why are we here? Why are we at the bottom? And yet, here's the main question. How do we come out of this state? You understand? Think about this. Black people are always saying, can we just come together? Can we just come together? What do you want to come together to do? Bring it out. Come on. That's the main question. What do you want to come together to do? You want to come together to, get, to sit around and eat some damn sandwiches, sing some songs, or do you really want to fight to get back what's yours? Right. You got to ask yourself, are you a revolutionary type man? You got some fight in you? What about you, brother? I know you all, but do you still got some fight in you? Listen with Lord ass. Read it again. Baruch chapter 3 verse 10. How happeneth it, Israel, that thou art in thine enemy's land? 
said, how are you in your enemy's land? Read. That thou art waxing old in a strange country. We, we waxing old. We done got so damn comfortable in this country that we done forgotten our name, forgotten our God, forgotten where we come from. Hey, we done sat there and just gave up the ghost. You know? And, and we, we, we need a leader. We need a what? A leader. How about we need to obey God? We obey God, but you still need a leader. Well, guess what? You got leaders right here in front of you right now. Hey, hold, 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 hold that. Hold we ain't the leaders. Hold it. I hear you. But give me, are give you me a leader? Let's find out. You have the whole damn nation See, right there. See, that's the problem right there with you saying. You waiting on everybody to join yeah, in. Guess what? I hear it all the time. Watch this. We got, we got men all over the earth right now this very day yeah, teaching our people. Yeah, we're, we're the people. We ain't front of you. That's Read right, right here. Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 17. Bring it Listen out. to you. Son of man. I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Read it again. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. He done made us a watchman to the house of Israel. Wait, guess what? We the leaders for the house of Israel. Read. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning. Do what? Give them warning. Do what? Give them warning. That's what we're doing. We are here trying to raise up our people. We're giving them warning. What? From me. From who? From me. We're giving them warning from the Lord. But you know what? We not, it's not going to be what you want. It's not going to be what you hear. Hey, we're going to give you the will of God. You understand? What he wants you to do so he can rise you up. I was born again in Christ. What does it mean to be born again in Christ? Well, it meant that I... Learn God. You learn God? Yes, sir. Listen, hey, I'm going to show you how God said you learn him. You understand? I'm going to read it out the Bible. How about that? I read the Bible too. All right, give me 1 John 2 and 3. I want you to hear something. This is God's. Hey, I hear people say this all the time. I was born again. I'm saved. But guess what? Not according to the Bible. You understand? To be born again means to start over. Watch this. First John chapter 2 verse 3 Bring it out. And hereby we do know that we know him If we keep his commandments If we do what? Keep his commandments He said this is how we know God If we keep his commandments Hold on He that saith I know him So we got people that say I know God I'm born again Watch this And keep him not his commandments And they don't keep the damn commandments Wait is a liar is a what a liar see that's the reason why our people say stuff so much because they hadn't had true leaders true watchmen to bring them this bible right. you understand yeah. so watch this read it again from the top first john chapter 2 verse 3. Yeah. hey brother you believe in the bible hey brother you believe in the bible huh do you well we're reading from the bible right now and god is trying to speak a word to you you got time to listen? See, that's why I tell you our people don't believe in God. Read. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandment. You got time to sit here and argue with me, but you ain't got time to listen to the word of God. Read it again. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandment. That's how we know God. If we keep his commandments. Read. He that saith, I know him and keep him not his commandments is a liar. God said if you ain't keeping the commandments, he said you a liar. trying to hear the word of God, but you ain't got time to hear the word of God. Give me more. Uh, give me more. Oh, so I'm going to tell you, brother. Hey, brother, don't be wicked, man. Don't be wicked. You said you didn't have time to hear the word of God. Do you? Do you got time to hear the word of God? Watch this. Do you got time to hear the word of God? Thank you. Take the time to hear the word of God. Let me ask you. Do you know God? You do? So let me ask you. Who is this? 
Yeah, you damn right he the white devil. So, so let me ask you, let me ask you, do you follow the white devil? You don't? Do you keep God's Sabbath? Do you keep God's commandments? No. So who told you not to keep God's commandments? The white man told you that. So do you follow the white man? Do you follow the devil? Huh? Let's find out. Bring it again, first John 2 or 3. Let's see if you follow God. See if you know God. Or do you know the white devil? First John chapter 2, verse 3. Bring it out. And here, boys, we do know that we know him. We do know if we know the true God. You understand? If we what? If we keep his commandments. If we keep God's commandments. Hey, guess what? You can't get around that. That's the only way you're going to know God if you keep his commandments. Right. Our people know damn well they don't keep no commandments. Right. And yet they'll say they know God and they got a personal relationship with God. But listen what God say. Read. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar. God said you a liar. That's how we know you're a damn liar. Because right. we know when you ain't keeping God's commandments. Right. Read. And the truth is not in him. And the truth ain't in you. Right. The truth ain't in you. That's how we know people get up here, lie, and say they know God, say they love their brother, say they love their sister, and then guess what? They not keeping no commandments at all. That's zero. Zero. So you don't love your brother, you don't love God. What you need to do is repent and learn how to love God. Right, right. That's all it takes is taking the time to find out how you must love God. Right. Find, find out why we're in these conditions so we can change. Right. Let me ask you, sis, you love your people? You do love your people, right? You love your, you got any children? You love your kids. Guess what? We grew up not knowing our, our, the commandments because our parents didn't know them. And when our parents don't teach us the commandments, we grow up be wild little niggas running the streets. Right. We was out here horn down our daughters. We was out here gang banging. Right. We was out here shooting. Right. What do you think our sisters were doing? They out here whoring. They out yeah. here dressing like prostitutes. Right. They out here having one, two, three, four baby mama, the baby daddy. Because right. why? They wasn't taught the commandments either. So when we say we love our people, we love God, we don't have to change. We right. can't right. keep walking the same walk. We got to find out the truth of this Bible. You understand? Because right now, our sins got us in the condition. Right. Our sins got us in the condition. Give me John 8 32. It ain't but one thing that's going to set us free. You understand? Watch this. Because, you know what? If we're going to stay here and listen to pastors, they should have a solution. Right. They said they supposed to be your leaders, but they ain't gave our people no solution because we're still in the same state we were 50 years ago, 100 years ago. we still at the bottom. And now you got real men that know God, that's keeping God's commandments, come out to teach our people how to rise up out of these conditions. Our people fight to stay in it. They don't want the change. You understand? Captivity has become comfortable. They had, they had ease with it. Read. John chapter 8 verse 32 Bring it out. And ye shall know the truth And the truth shall make you free He said you're going to know the truth And the truth will make you free And if you sit there and say I don't serve the white man You serve everything that the white man Put in front of you right. You serve Christmas, you right. serve Easter right. Thanksgiving, 4th of July, Mother's Day Father's Day You serving Satan Jeez. You go to church on Sunday You serve Satan Right because God didn't give you Sunday worship. He gave you the Sabbath, the seventh day. Guess what day it is? Today is the seventh day. That's right. Today is the Sabbath of the Lord. Right. But look what our people are doing. They are here violating God's Sabbath. Right. Why? Because they serve this. Even though I'm serving a white man, yes, you do. Right. You're not keeping the laws of God. You're right. not keeping the commandments of God. And the commandments of God is what's going to set you free. What are you giving? John yeah. chapter 8, verse 32. Bring it out. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So guess what? We got to learn the truth to set us free. It must mean we were taught lies. Right. Bring it out. You understand? And when we got to learn the truth, we never asked the pastor one simple question. What is the truth? Bring it out. If it's going to set me free, well, what the hell is it? 
Let's find out what the truth is. Let's find out what this Bible is all about that's going to set me free and put me back in rulership. Don't go nowhere, sister. I'm going to tell you what the truth is that's going to set you free. Ain't nothing more important than that. Read that. Psalm chapter 119, verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. God's righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Read. And thy law, thy what? Thy law, God's law, is the truth. That's the truth. That's right. That's what's going to set you free. Because he the one that put you in bondage. He the one that did that. It wasn't the white man. The white man ain't damn strong enough to put us in slavery on his own. Right. He had to have the power of God behind him to put us in slavery. Right. God did this to us because we forsaken him. Right. And just like any father, guess what? He disciplined hard-headed children. Right. Right. And this is our discipline. This is why we're in these conditions. This right. is why we're going through hell. Right. Because we broke God's law. Right. And that's what we're trying to get our people to understand. If we want to come back to God, we're going to have to come back to his laws. We're going to have right. to be obedient children. Right. Your children couldn't come back to you being disrespectful, right. being harsh, right. down here selling drugs. You right. ain't going to deal with your children that way. You're going to discipline them. Right. And then when they don't like the discipline, they got to go. Right. That's right. Guess what? You see this boat ride we was gone? We was on? We had to go. We had to go right into the bondage that he said he was going to put us in. Right. He said, I'm tired of you Negroes. I'm Get sick out. and tired of the way you act. The sick and tired of the way that you show your love for your brothers and sisters. He said, I'm sick and tired of how you treating me. Right. That's what God said, because think about it. We forsaken God for this. We forsaken God for a man that put our people in slavery, that was raping our daughters. Right. Raping our sons. Right. That still got us in bondage today. That's right. We walk around with the white man's last name and don't want to find out who we are as a people. Right. We're the Israelites. That's We're the children right. of God. We're the prince of the power. Right. We got to come back to who we are. We can't keep walking around in ignorance. Right. We got to learn this truth so we can be set free. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.